Hi Simon and Teresa, it's Stephen again. Um, I am going to do a d demo of my preamp that I made, which is um, in this green box, um, my own preamp, and um, I'm also going to use this direct cord to go from the iPod to the amplifier, just to see the difference in sound. Now, I'm not doctoring this um, video. I actually don't know what the sound level will be between having a preamp going into the amplifier or, or just a slight bit of amplification, amplification versus um, just having a straight connection. Okay, we'll do the preamp bit first and I'll show you what's inside the box. So um, this, I can remove that later, it's from another project. So um, this is Desperation Street in terms of making your own stuff, having to make your own stuff. But that's it inside. And that's a battery, that, that's a battery, battery, car, line out, audio line out generator, switch. So um, that's my preamp. And I think it works well, but we'll see with this test how much of a better improvement it is. I actually haven't done this test before and I don't know, I wouldn't have a clue. So um, here we go. So I'm going to turn it on with the switch. You can see a little light come on. So it's on, on. And I'm going to turn the Sherwood on. And I've set this, set the Sherwood at uh, level 20. So um, it's level 20. As you can tell, at 20, it's not deafening, but then again, I haven't got this set very, the iPod set very high, so I might just turn it up a bit to set it to 20, 24 is a good test. Okay, so it's set to 24 using the green box. And this, this will stay the same, obviously, because otherwise it wouldn't be a good test. So, I'm going to turn it off. All the way. And now, I'll turn this off. Run it straight, run the iPod straight into the thing. With all the levels being the same, and we'll see how loud it is. Because I actually don't know myself. Just give me a second while I plug it in. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay, I've plugged the iPod straight in. No. I mean, I call it a preamp. It's not. It's just a little bit of amplification. So here we go. I haven't changed any volume levels. So, I, and I got no idea what it'll sound like. So here we go. Let's set it. Actually, it's gone to sixteen. I'll set it to twenty-four. Okay. It is softer. Okay, so the preamp does do something. That's um, that's now 24. And I can hear it, but it's not that good. Not that good in terms of um, volume. We'll just wait a second for the next track. It's like um, about just under half of the volume of, of the the preamp thing I made. In fact, it's pretty soft, so I turn it off. Plug the preamp back in. I enjoy doing these sort of weird experiments, they're weird. And then turn the preamp back on. Let's just remember 24 this time. Uh, 
in total silence. Probably because the iPod has stopped. And the iPod has stopped. Let's check that's 24. Yeah, I'd say you're looking at about another 60% volume, which is pretty cool. And you can always change it at the iPod anyway. So on the iPod, it's um, it's about halfway on the iPod, which is how I like it. I don't like it full. So there you go. That's it, man. I'll just show you this print I got today. I'll leave that on and show you this print. I bought today. It's like a Japanese or Chinese thing. Okay, that's it, dudes.